Hi, this is Dr. Shirley Caruso. Thank you for joining me. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a multiple choice quiz using shapes and trigger effects. I'll be using PowerPoint 2016 in a Windows operating system environment. Let's head on over to PowerPoint to get started. In a previous tutorial, you learned how to create trigger effects to create a multiple choice quiz with levels of feedback. But what if you wanted to use shapes and still give that level of feedback to your learner? Here's an example which state is pictured below. When the learner clicks on one of the three options, feedback appears to let the learner know if the selection chosen was the correct one. Here's another example. Which state is Illinois? This time, when the learner clicks on one of the states, feedback is given to let the learner know if the correct state was selected. Let's go ahead and build the first one. I've already typed the question, which state is pictured below? Next, I would like to find a picture of the state that I'm interested in. For purposes of this tutorial, I am going to select the state of Illinois. I'm being careful to search only in the Creative Commons. And I found one that I would like to use, so I'm going to insert it into my presentation and resize it. I'm going to give the learner some directions about what to do in this quiz. So I'm going to say, click on the name of the state you think is correct. And I'm going to make just this line a little bit smaller than the general question. And then I'm going to build three tabs, two with the incorrect response and one with the correct response. I'm going to give this some um, bevel effect so it looks more like a button. And I need two more of these. Control C and then Control V two times. And I'm going to space them out evenly. This one I'm going to say Idaho. Iowa, Illinois. So what I want to happen is when the learner clicks one of these responses, some feedback will appear letting the learner know if the state chosen was the correct one. So I need to create more shapes giving some feedback. I'm going to recolor this one. Uh, since this one is going to be the incorrect answer, I'm going to color this red. I'm going to give it a right click, shape fill, and I'm going to color it red. And I am going to say, sorry, that's not the correct answer. Please try again. And I'm going to resize this. I need one more of these. That's not correct. So I'm going to copy this. Control V for paste. And that's going to be right over Iowa. 
And then finally, I need a correct response. So I'll just reformat this. I'll put it over the state of Illinois, which happens to be the correct response. So here, I am going to fill this with green. Red, red usually indicates incorrect. Green usually indicates correct. So here, I'm going to say, that's right. Click on the next arrow. to go to the next question. Now, if this were the last question, I would just say click next to continue, and that last slide would give them uh, some feedback, some congratulations on completing the quiz. Uh, you may have your tutorial set up that you are using a continue button, so you would say that's right, click continue. The next step is to build in the trigger effects so that when these various buttons are clicked, the feedback boxes will appear. So the best way to do this is to allow your selection pane to appear so that you know what your various shapes are labeled. So I want this to appear on click of rounded rectangle 4. So I click this, go up to Animations, Add an Animation. I want it to appear, and I am going to give it a trigger effect on the click of Rounded Rectangle 4. This is Rounded Rectangle 6, so I would like this to appear on click of Rounded Rectangle 6. This is Rectangle 5, and I would like this to appear on click of Rounded Rectangle 5. So let's see how all of this is looking. When Idaho is clicked, sorry, that's not correct. When Iowa is clicked, sorry, that's not correct. And finally, if Illinois is clicked, that's correct. Click the next arrow to go to the next slide. So everything here is working just the way we want it to. Let's take a look at that second option. In this example, we would like the learner to click on a state that they believe is Illinois. If the incorrect shape is clicked on, feedback appears saying sorry, but if the correct shape is clicked on, the feedback says that's right. So let's build this example. In this example, I've written the question, which state is Illinois? And given the directions, click on the picture of Illinois. I've gone to insert, online pictures and I've located two states which are not Illinois and one state which is Illinois. So I'm going to click on one of these to open the selection pane and I'm going to be build my feedback. I'm going to insert a shape This one is going to be incorrect, so I'm going to fill it with red. Copy this. Paste. And my correct answer will be filled with green. Here I'm going to say, sorry, that's not the correct answer. Please try again.
here I'm going to say that's right. Click the next arrow to go to the next question. So I need to add my trigger effects. When the learner clicks on picture three, I want this feedback to appear. So I'm going to animation, add animation, appear, on click of picture three. This is picture four, so I'm going to add my animation. I'll click up picture four. This is picture five. I'm going to move it over just a bit. I would like this to appear on click of picture five. So we're going to see if all this is working. Which state is Illinois? Click on the picture of Illinois. This one is incorrect incorrect and finally this one is correct. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. I will see you soon.